Alright, welcome to some more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get back into it. Uh, so we're in the middle of this cave. We're still doing uh, Red's um, quest. And look at this huge area over here. But uh, it looks like, I'm trying to remember. I think we started over here, made our way down. Yeah, I thought we started over here or something, made our way down. I guess we went this way. Alright. Oh, never mind. We started here. I'm tripping. Yeah, made our way down. Then that whole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, pretty much keep going. Um, this might be the last video for this cave. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Pretty sure all the support I can still get on this, uh, on this, uh, series because I know no one is really playing Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth at the moment. I don't think so, but I, I did want to finish this game for the channel um, And then you know see what other games I could play next. I've been I've been I've been stuck on this game for a minute uh, Try to drop at least two to three videos a week, uh, but you know It's been uh, it's been tough, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and go to get on and it's, it's a pretty long game, too. rounds uh rolling well. all right so then also i want to it doesn't have a weakness all right let's go ahead and start popping the um popping the barrier Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Got some fight left in you. Block, 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 block. Always did like a challenge. Oh! You ain't getting out of this. Uh, uh, focus shot. I killed myself.
Oh, help me. Yeah, I'll do it. Bro, why is homeboy healing? Uh, temporarily reduces damage. I'm gonna make you There's a 
another ether. Use barrier again. You got this. My turn. That's about to explode. Oh, uh, what's about to be good, old? Oh, don't that shit again. What's one more guy going on? Him go. You don't mind if I fill you for a hole. Give him hell. Don't worry about it. Gotcha. Not good because Baron is about to die. What's it on this one? Oh. oh, is that a perfect death counter? Is that a freaking death counter? I'm right here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna you Come on. Oh, it's still, it's still going. It's still going. No, get out of here. Uh, Mega Potion. Go for it. Yes, it's my turn. Man just keeps uh alright, this one I'm gonna do. Damn it! I'm gonna make you regret it. Here you go. Red heal me. I'm still kicking. Come on! Oh, he healed himself! wasn't bad I don't think about it that wasn't that wasn't bad uh all right hold up I need it I need to heal myself but I'm going to use a uh, mega potion all right so we're on the second stage Uh -huh. This is where things get complicated. There's so many. Where's a big bucket of water when you need
base defense. You cheating son of a bitch! So I can't use magic at the moment. Abilities are still okay. Shit. Ooh, what I do? 
what's our events mode on? Or... No escape. Ah, come on. You know what? Let's use the synergy ability. Uh, you gotta focus bears to uh, focuses. Let's do that. There we go, there we go. Alright, that should do it. Alright, bet. And then we're going to hit him with the limit. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Fire in a hole or uh, some of the channels into a concentrated beam. Yes. Yeah. Hear me. Gotcha. Alright. Ooh. There we go. Oh, man. That was tough. Put the beam on him. Form evanescent, rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. I bet. That, I mean, that should be it. Should be the last boss fight, or or the big boss fight for the area. Man, that was crazy. The fact that he was siphoning off our health and adding it to his own was crazy. But I had it uh, had the had the strat going. Okay, pretty nice. The watcher of the veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? <laughs> Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki. Their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> But this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Veil once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Mamaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, start to believe you've seen it all, that no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. 
I bid you leave, Nanaki. Oh. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our Vale. Uh oh. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more, hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. Turn of events, indeed. We'll back you up to thou. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. No, this one's free. Uh. Okay. So. We're about to go to who knows where. Um, oh, let me check my party up. So these are people I got right now. Uh, I don't know if the party will change. Uh, like, are we really about to get into a fight right now? I don't know. Let me, let me, uh, dang. I kind of want to throw some stuff on. Let me go down there real quick. Check it out. And then, uh. We'll see. Uh, actually, yeah. Let me let me not even chance it. So everything that Red has right now is what I have. Uh, HP absorption. Let me throw HP absorption on this, and I'm throw synergy. Synergy on that. All right, let's check it out. Barrett's health is stupid low, but that's okay. Uh, we don't. Let me see. X potion. Full restores, restores 
against all allies. Oh, I could use. Oh no. Ether, let's go use there. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared out of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Oh. Gonna take a boat somewhere? Looks like, uh, what's it called? A crypt keeper? Not a crypt keeper. Death? The home of the Gee lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. It's not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! Stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. You yeah, don't know if I would follow this dude, but I guess they got no other choice. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. Uh. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. This man's a gangster. History? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. <laughs> Just come out that door. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. <coughs> oh, for the first game. I forgot about that. Or the first part of the game. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. Wind starts blowing. 
One minute, I'm outnumbered. And the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. We actually done. Uh, well, we got to the boss battle and stuff like that. And we had the um, the ending of uh, Red's quest, I guess, in the cave. Um, and then we got picked up by that floating dude. But um, yeah, we're gonna end this video right here. And next time we come back, we'll continue on with Zach and his uh, his quest. I honestly don't know what's going on, like like Zach's story. Like I don't know why that's still a thing. Uh, we saw him at the end of the of the end of the first game or first part, and uh, I thought he died. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how where it's taking place because like he picked up Cloud and Arif, so it's like it takes place after that first game, like he came back to life or something like that. I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, um, but yeah, appreciate that's why you get all these videos, like, comment, subscribe, and know the kids best to see my posts, and I'll see y'all in the next one.